the world. How can they do that? By putting action behind your faith in Jesus. So over the next few months, we're going to be taking a closer look at the book of Acts in the Bible and seeing how that Jesus' apostles found joy when they put their hands to good action. Come on, let's go check it out. Here we are at Action Point. Now right here is where we're going to be looking at the book of Acts and finding out how did the apostles put their hands into action and what they did that gave them such great joy. Here we are at Action City. Now this is where we're going to take what we learned at Action Point from the actions of the apostles and see what we can do to reach out into our city and to find that same joy by putting our hands into action. Hey guys, before we get started, let's get our hearts and minds focused on Jesus. We want to hear so that we can know how we can use our hands to change the world. Don't you? Okay, let's pray. Jesus, help us today as we learn to hear and to listen so that we can know how to use our hands to worship you and change the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey kids! Welcome to the Joyful Action Center. Each week when you come, there's going to be an action word that you'll have to guess that goes with what we're learning today. Do you guys know what action is? Yeah. It means moving your body around. Yes. And our action word today is hidden under one of these cups. And I'm going to give you guys some actions that you'll have to do in order to find it. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. First, we're going to swirl two of the cups in circles. Go. Good job. And freeze. And we're going to take away the black cup and the blue cup. Okay. Good job. And now we're going to stack the orange cup and the brown cup. Oh, good. Oh, she's fast. You've got to be quicker. And we're going to each lift a cup. Ah! I found it. Good job. What is our action word for today? Obey. Obey. Do you know what obey is? Yes. Obeying is doing what someone asks you to do. We've got some good helpers out there. Let's give them a thumbs up. Good job, guys. That's our word for today. I can't wait to see what we're going to learn about with this. Hey kids, did you know that hiding God's word in your heart is obeying? The Bible tells us we should memorize its words. So let's practice that now. Let's read Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let's read that one more time. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is Acts 2.38. Memorize it and put it in your heart. Good job! Welcome to Action Headquarters. Action HQ for short. 
And today we have got a report that in Jerusalem, there is some stuff going on that we've got to go check out and find out what's happening because it has been reported that the apostles obeyed and when they did, something awesome happened. So we're going to go to the Word of God. You got your Bibles? Because this is where we're going to find out what happened down in Jerusalem. It says in Acts chapter 2, that on the day of Pentecost, when it was fully come, that they were all in one accord and one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as if a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them divided tongues of fire. And it set on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit. And that's a capital S. It's talking about Jesus. And it says, as the Spirit gave them utterance. So here's what happened that we are reporting here at Action HQ. The apostles obeyed the Lord and other believers to where there was 120 of them, the book of Acts says, that went down and obeyed the word of the Lord. He said, you go to Jerusalem and you wait there for the promise. And they didn't really know everything that the Lord was talking about, but they made up their minds they were going to obey and do what he asked. So they went down there, and as we read in the Bible, they were all in that upper room, and they began to raise their hands and worship the Lord because it said they were in one accord. That means 120 people were obeying and doing the same thing at one time. That's amazing. And as they did, the mighty rushing wind came, and they all received that promise, which is Jesus living in their heart, the power of the Holy Ghost inside of us. That's awesome. And as they began to worship, people started gathering around because they heard, what are these people doing speaking in a language they never learned? This is interesting. What's going on? And so Peter stood up in verse 38 and he told them what had gone on. And let's read that. You ready? 38. It says, then Peter said unto them, repent. He told them, listen, if you want the same promise that I received that is so awesome, Jesus in your heart, you got to get sin out of your heart. You got to tell Jesus you're sorry. That's just telling Jesus, oh, I know those things I did I shouldn't have done. I want to get that forgiven. So Jesus, I'm sorry. And Jesus says, I'll forgive you. So Peter told him, repent, but that wasn't all. They had to obey something else. It said, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's going down in the water all the way and being baptized in Jesus' name. That's how your sins get washed away. And then he said, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You shall? That's a promise about receiving the promise. And it says, for the promise is unto you and to your children and all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God shall call. Do you know what that means? It means us. It means you. It means me. And here's what happened. Those people that were listening, it was a feast, kind of like a celebration. And there were people, the Bible says, from all over that had come to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. So there were all kinds of people listening. And Peter began to tell them this. He said, says in verse 40, and with many other words, he testified and exhorted them saying, be saved from this perverse generation. Then here's the point. Let's see how many of them chose to obey. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added to them. 3,000 souls. That's 3,000 people. 3,000 people said, I want that. I want that promise. And they decided to obey. And when they did, they received that same Holy Ghost promise of Jesus living in their heart just like the apostles in the 120 did. And that's not all. I'm here to report to you here at Action HQ that it's still happening today. And it's so awesome. 
When you receive the Holy Ghost, your sins are washed away. You feel so good. And Jesus comes to live inside of you. I've received it. And I've spoke with other tongues. And it is awesome. It still happens today. And I tell you what, you'll receive that promise too when you obey Acts 2.38. Wow, we have learned so much today. Now, what did we just talk about in Action Point? What was our word of the day? Started with an O. It was obey. Now, here in Action City, we're going to take what we learned at Action Point and think, what can we do to put it into action in our city? So, what can you do this week to put your hands into action by obeying? Hmm. Who can you obey? You can obey your pastors. You can obey your teachers. You can obey your parents. Yeah. What else can you do? You can obey the Bible. Oh, that is so good. We want to obey the Bible because when we obey the Bible, it brings us so much joy and it puts a lot of joy in our hearts and we want to do that. So now we're going to make a reminder for ourselves so we remember this week to put our hands into action and activate our obedience, all right? You ready? Now you need a piece of paper and a pencil. So you take your hand and put it on the paper and then you just draw an outline of your hand just like this. And then you take it and you ask a parent or you get, or ask a parent for permission to use a pair of scissors or for them to do it and help you and to make a handprint. I already have one ready. So you make a handprint and then we want to write on it, obey. And how do we spell that? We spell it O-B-E-Y. So write obey on your hand just like that. Now you can find a place in your room or somewhere that you see every day. So when you wake up in the morning and you see that hand and you see that it says obey, you remember, oh, I need to activate obedience today. I need to activate by obeying, putting my hands into action, obeying the Bible, obeying my teachers, my pastors, my, my parents, because that puts joy in your heart. So when you wake up in the morning, you see it and it reminds you, you pray about it. Jesus, help me to, to put my hands into action by obeying. And then you get up at a high five. And then you're ready to see how much joy you are going to have because you put action to your obedience. So far, we've learned that putting our acts of obedience into action brings us joy. And everybody can see that. Our joyful hands of obedience can change I the world. Be a world. Yeah, that's it. That's it.